I picked up this canvas bag at Hobby Lobby for $9.99. I received the 50% off for that week. It's a nice big canvas bag with a zipper in the inside, and it has the black on the bottom and the canvas on the top. So I took some foil to protect the upper part of the bag. You can use saran wrap. Uh, you could just cover it with a piece of cardboard. You just want to block off that section. I had this large stencil from Redesign by Prima. I used to sell them. They were very difficult to ship, but they're just, they're wall stencils. They're gorgeous. They're 3D, but that's really here nor there. Um, any stencil that you like the design and actually adhesive ones are probably a little bit better for this particular um, project. So anyway, I'm grabbing a bottle of half water, half bleach. Just did a little spray bottle. And I'm just misting. This is very light. You don't want too much bleach or you're going to get bleed through underneath. And you're going to immediately take a paper towel and dab it. This is very easy and very quick. And then you have this beautiful design at the bottom of the bag and just kind of brings it, you know, up a notch. I just loved how this came out. So I'm going to try it on a t-shirt and I want to show you with the adhesive stencils it's much it, it comes out much crisper and a little bit nicer. So this is a sweatshirt I picked up at The Gap. I have it's one of my favorite sweatshirts. Um I have quite a few of them. And this does look quite nice on the darker colors. So if you're going to do a shirt, you want to put some cardboard or something in between so the bleach does not seep all the way through. And you just want to make sure all your wrinkles are out and everything's nice and flat. I found this butterfly at Michael's. This is an adhesive stencil, very sticky. Uh, once you take the backing off, I decided to put my butterfly kind of on an angle so it wasn't like just like dabbed in the middle of the back. And then I took some painter's tape and covered the wording. I wasn't crazy about that part. It was much easier working with the adhesive stencil because it just sealed those edges. And I just blocked off with a piece of cardboard the rest of the sweatshirt. And again, it took my bleach mixture, half water, half bleach. And again, this is not a lot. You don't need a lot. You're just going to mist. And that's really it. Again, you want to take your paper towel and you're not wiping, you're just dabbing to get the excess bleach up. And I just loved how this came out. Now, the bleaching of the shirts is very popular right now, so you can go and spray some more bleach around that image if you'd like. I hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you.